When do you turn off your lights for your bigger dragon or other reptiles? The simple answer to this is you want all lights off at nighttime. When the sun goes down outside, you want your lights to turn off inside. You wanna be following the natural day and night cycle, not only for your bigger dragon, but for other reptiles as well. Reptiles that are mainly active at nighttime, like leopard geckos, ball pythons, they are on the reverse circadian rhythm of a bearded dragon. Just like humans, humans we wake up when the sun comes out, we go to sleep when the sun goes down. Now, it does change because we have lights now and it keeps us up at nighttime, but if we went out camping and it was out all day and then nighttime come, we would all get sleepy just because of the natural day and night cycle. We are daytime animals and so are bearded dragons, so you want to follow that same thing. But for the opposite animals like leopard geckos, when the sun goes down, it's time for them to wake up. So that's why even for night animals, it's good to provide lighting so that way it gets that natural circadian rhythm going. But what about heat? This is a big one. People get freaked out because they're like, well, if I turn my lights off at nighttime, I keep my house pretty cold. Or maybe you live in Canada or up north and it's very cold. Maybe it's the UK and it gets very cold at nighttime. No worries at all and I get it. You've been told these animals are cold-blooded creatures and they need heat, which they do. But just like out in the natural world, when the sun goes down, so does the temperature. And especially for beer dragons, at nighttime, the temperature drops dramatically. In deserts, and if you live in a desert, you know what I'm talking about, temperatures at nighttime drop pretty low. In the daytime, it might be 120 degrees. It's super hot, but at nighttime, it's super cold. And the reason for this is because sand and a lot of stuff in the desert doesn't hold on to heat very well. There's not a lot of tree cover. It's just open land. So when the sun goes down, all that heat just escapes out of the ground, and it gets very cold. So a lot of these animals, especially bearded dragons, have grown accustomed to having cold nights. So if you keep your house pretty cold in the 60s, your bearded dragon at nighttime is gonna be perfectly fine. Not only will he be perfectly fine, it'll actually be better for him because it'll be cold at nighttime and when the, when your lights turn on, the sun, I almost said the sun, when the sun turns on inside of his tank. <laughs> but when the lights turn on inside of his tank, he's gonna feel that warmth and know he needs to go bask where he'll get his heat and UVB. So it's also good for them to have a cool down at nighttime. But what if it's really cold in your house? What if it's like below 50 degrees? What if it's 55 degrees? The first question I have for you is, are you Canadian? Where do you live? Antarctica, that's extremely cold but I understand so if you do have it extremely cold in your house and you want to provide that nighttime heat do not use a red heat bulb or a nocturnal heat bulb like the little black light ones they have the thing is we want total darkness and these animals can see the red light they can see the black light they want darkness that's the biggest thing if you have a red heat bulb on your bearded dragon at nighttime they're gonna be able to see that and when they see that it's gonna be like living and trying to sleep inside of a nightclub it's not gonna be good for them they want total darkness so what you can do to provide heat is get a ceramic heat emitter or a deep heat projector something that doesn't produce a lot of visible light that's the biggest thing if you want to warm it up use something that doesn't produce visible light like a ceramic heat emitter but say it's summertime, you have air conditioning and you're just blasting it. It's 66 degrees at nighttime and you're just loving it and you're afraid your beer dragon is too cold. I'll put it to you this way. All year long, I don't use any heat at nighttime. I don't use any lights at nighttime. That's the biggest thing you want to take from this video. No lights at nighttime. Now, what about the room lights? A lot of people wonder, like, what about the room lights? Most of the time, because we have, the, the, most cages are very dark naturally, when the lights go off, and your bearded dragon goes to sleep, you're okay. But if your lights go off and you have like stuff playing and stuff like that, and they're still awake, they have their eyes open for like a long period of time, then you might wanna put a towel up over the tank so that way it darkens the enclosure more. But most of the time, my bearded dragons, I have my lights on, I kinda I stay up late, I, what can I say? The lights, they keep me up, the video games, they keep me up. But I stay up late, and as soon as the lights go off in my bearded dragon's tank, He's asleep, and my female too, they're asleep, they're knocked out. Those lights go off, they're knocked out. And that's how you know if the lights are bothering them. You do want total darkness, but if they go to sleep once the lights go off, you're good. If they don't go to sleep, the lights are off and their eyes are still open, they're looking around, but they wanna go to sleep, put a towel up or something over to cover the enclosure to block the light from coming in. But remember, don't put it on the heat lamps, just put it on the front of the tank, where just try to block the light, because if you if you leave it there overnight, it might start a fire, you know, because the heat lamps turn on, it gets very hot, stuff like that. So anyways, that's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed, like, subscribe. I'll see you next time.